hello my wonderful people i hope you're all doing great welcome back to my channel so with agnes i'm agnes so today i'm going to make a beautiful ankara dress with here is yoga so i folded the fabric this is the ankara and this is the lining this is the back panel and this is the front panel i folded them together i'm going to cut them together I use the, the biggest part of the girl's body, which is the chest. The chest is 23, I divided it by four. Uh, five, three quarters, and I added one inch. Then the length, the half length of the girl is nine plus one inch, that is 10 inches. So that is what I have here. I have the back panel for both the, the main fabric, the Ankara fabric and the lining. And this is the front as well so i'm going to cut them together i'm going to use this as the starting line and i'll have my this is one and a half inches for the zipper allowance for the back so i place the front panel on top of this line i'm going to hold it with a pin that it can be stable I also hold them together, the new fabric and the lining. So the shoulder of the the shoulder is nine inch divided it by two, that is half of the shoulder is four inches, four point five sorry, four point five, then I added half inch that is five inches so I have your five now come down by half inch Half of a hammer is fourth the quarter. And this will be the chest line. The neck width is 2.5 inches for the front. I'll use the same for the back, 2.5. Then the neck depth is 2 3 quarter. to align it properly. I'll use the same for the back and the front. Two to the quarter. Now connect it. To the lens. Yeah. So going by to my curve. Okay, this the midpoint. Because I'm going by half inch. So the armor here and connect okay. 
Then the chest is 23 divided by 4. That is quarter of it is 5 three quarter plus 1 inch. I have my 5 three quarter here. Yeah? Plus 1 inch. Bring this in here. Then the waist is 22 inches. 22 divided by 4 is 5 and a half plus 1 inch. For the back, I'll go in by one inches. The back is not equal. So that it will rest well, even. It will rest well. Just where the zipper area. Okay. Where is it? Let me mark the two point five inches. We'll cut it together. So this is it. Then I'll cut, I'll cut it together. For the back and the front, the same. So I'm going. Back. Separate the back. The zipper here. I will join them separately, lining to lining, this is the right side of the lining. Right side facing each other, we'll join the, the shoulders. I'll do the same for the main fabric, right sides facing each other. Like so. The shoulders. I'm going to sew the neckline. I'll place it like this, right side facing each other, making sure that the shoulders of the main fabric and the lining match together. So I'll, I'll pin it and I'll sew the neckline. 
I'll show the angle. I'll show the sides, all of the sides, and the zipper area. I'll show all of the right size fits in each other, so there will be no rough edges show, no seam show. I'll show them neatly. I will just leave the, the bottom. I will just leave this end and this other end. So I just sew, I sew the, the neckline and the arm layer. I'm holding it, then I'll turn it like this. I just saw the sides. Okay, I saw the zipper area. So I'll turn it over like this. I'll turn it over. the sides this way this is the right side how much to the armhole area I'll place it like this then I'll pin it so that these two ends will meet then I'll pin this other end I'll pin right to this end then I'll mark the body's measurement that is the waist the chest or both the lining area and the main fabric area I'll pin then I'll mark the the body's measurements for the waist and for the chest I'll do the same here then I'll sew it then I'll that is after turning this other one also i don't want to make this video long long very long so i'll turn this as well then i'll do the same to this other end i'll do the same for both ends so i've sewn it see this is what i want to achieve i've sewn it and ironed it by using the body's measurement for both the waist and the the chest See both sides of iron it. So this is it. the right side. This is inside of the, the main bodies. This is the outside. But they are the both right sides. So this is the, the inside. That is the wrong side. You can see it. So it's how neat the body is this. So I'm going to do the skirt here now. I'll measure the this part of this. I will leave it like this for now. I'll close it later. So I'm going to measure for this zipper area up to the other zipper area. What I have now, I'll, I'll do a flares. The bottom will be flares. So I'll cut it. So the waist I measure is 26, which includes the zipper allowance. So I added one inch, then I divided it by 6.28 because I'm going to do a full circle. So I folded it into so for the, the length is 14 inches. When you divided the 27.5 divided by 6.28 so I have 4.37 and the length is 14 inches because the length of the dress is 25 
less the bodies which is nine then i'm going to add two inches less at the end of the the flares so i have here 18.5 inches i folded it into four because it's a full circle so i'll mark 4.37 I'll make it 4.5 You have uh, 18.5 because the length is 14 inches So I've cut it out. I've also cut the lining. This is the main fabric. The lining is shorter than the main fabric by two inches. So I'll split it open on the side. I'll split them open. And I have the I'll split them open, okay. I'll attach the abnet. This is the abnet. I'll attach attach them to the to the lining. I'll attach them round to the lining. I have three of them. It measures three inches by seventy each of them. So I'll attach them to the lining. I will aim the lining and I'll attach the okay. then I have this lace. I will attach this to the aim of the the main fabric to the aim. I will attach them there. I'll attach it around. I'm going to show you guys. Then for the upper, this is for the sleeve. I'll attach it to the sleeve. I'll attach it to the sleeve. For both sleeves. And this one, I'll attach it at the waistline. Attach this to the waistline. So let me do them. I will show you this. I've sewn it. I've sewn the lace down the the end. See how beautiful it is. <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. It is. Then I'll. So I am it. I. Turn it just half inch, then I put the, the lace on top. So I've end the lining as well. I've end it, then I've sewn the add net on it. I just use two layers so that it will not be too heavy or too fluffy for the the guy. 
Then for the upper, I've also sewn this. This is the inside, and this is the outside, that is the right side of the, the waistline. I've sewn the waist there, and to the sleeve as well, see. So, I'll cut off this excess. I'll cut this off, the excess, this one. So this is the right side. This is how I want it. This is it. And I'll just cut this off for both sleeves. That is it. I'll just cut it off. And then after now, I'll turn like this, right sides facing each other. See, lining to lining. Also, lining to lining. Also, then I will take the main fabric to the main fabric. I'll turn it right sides facing each other as well. Right sides facing each other. Also. Like this, and so I'll pin them and sew. So I'll sew them separately, the fabric to the fabric and the lining to the lining. That is why they didn't close this bottom part. Okay, so I'll join the lining to the lining to the inside. The main fabric to the main fabric. See how beautiful it is. How beautiful this dress is. So I'm going to turn it like this. And also to cover the same this this also this one. I'll show the other end. Then after sewing that one, I'll close this. I'll close this. I'll close this. So that this place will not be left open. The upper. I'll close it like this. And so. Use this like this and sew it. So I've sewn the, the two sides to the zipper here. Of course, see, close this other end. Then I've also joined this two and the waist here. Join it. That's how neat it is. Okay, the inside. And this is the inside. So I'll fix the zipper now. I'll fix the zipper. I'll iron this one and I'll mark my one inch and fix my zipper. So I've sewn the zipper. How beautiful this dress is. This is the back. This is the front. So our beautiful flare dress for three years old is finished. Thank you so, so much, my wonderful people, for clicking and for watching too. I hope you like it. You took and try it because nothing attempted, nothing achieved. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. I hope you continue to like, you continue to share. I love you. Boku, boku. Stay blessed. See you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.